I am about to introduce to you other Meredith Shore, and we are going to be talking Bridal Girl, and that is the bookmark that she put in here. I'm going to be giving away this copy of the book. It is signed by her and over on my Instagram account, and look at right there, and I can't wait to talk to her about this book. She has written so many books, and um, look at that cover. It is so cute. And this is such a fun book. Meredith writes really, really fun books. So I can't wait to talk to her. Everybody, here is Meredith. Hi, everyone. I am so excited because I am speaking with author Meredith Shore, and we are talking Bridal Girl. And I love this book so much. And I reread it. I read it again. Okay. Oh. It was so much fun. I love a fun book. I read so many serious books, Meredith, that when I read a fun book, I'm like, yes. Well, that's cool, because there is so much serious things going on in the world, and there are plenty of serious books that I love, too. But my goal is to make people laugh and just feel really happy when, when they finish. Not that they're happy that they finish the book, but the book itself makes them very happy. Yes, so I'm I love it. Yeah, and this is book number three, so I'm going to have you hold up book number one and two so we can see the covers of these. This is book number one, Slogger Girl. Love it. And book number two was Novelista Girl. Yes. And third and most likely final, but we'll see, book <laughs> is Bridal Girl. I love these and I, covers so much. How did you... Thank you. I mean, I, and I looked at all your covers. Like, your covers are so cute. Where do you... Where do, how did you, like, get that art on there? Like... Somebody draw my, publisher, my publisher of, of these books is Henry Press, and they're really, really into branding. They want to know, they want the reader to know who wrote the book. You know, after you have a couple, they want everything to be branded, you know, in a similar way. And they also want it to look like it's a Henry Press book. So I had a little say in it. They had me that if there was anything you know particular I did want but I can't take credit for the design that was all them yeah I but I'm glad you like it yeah because I love how on all of them your name is like that you know like you mm -hmm. can always yes. see and 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 same with the binding too I mean I love when you can go to a bookstore and they are all lined up and you know it's one of your mm -hmm. books because of the print you know because of the typeset I love that uh, I'm, I'm very happy with those covers and, and I like the way they all look together I know, and she's so cute. So anyway, I love, and okay, like the bridal girl, like that, you know, blogger girl, like how did you come up with those titles? Did, was that first or was it after you had written blogger girl? I, when I was finished with blogger girl, I had about seven different titles. I'm not that good at titles. It takes me a really long time. And I, I think it was called um, Unwritten because she was a, a blogger who found out, who discovered that she wants to be a writer. So I had them written and I had, a, but it's been so long that I can't really remember. But I think right at the end, I had a list. I sent it out to people and I said, choose one. And they liked Blogger Girl. And then at the time, I didn't know that I was going to write a second or a third book. And so by the time I got to the second book, I knew that it was going to go with the girl. And at the time, the girl was like huge. The girl was, in, it was like in every cover. Mostly thrillers, but, but yes. still. And so I followed that theme. I had a novel girl, and my publisher at the time was like, eh, I don't really like novel, but novelista sounds more feminine and fun. And then Bridal Girl was pretty easy yeah. for me to come up with. Yeah. So, okay, so, so her, Kimmy. I love Kimmy. Yes. <laughs> so we kind of go on this journey with Kimmy. And I love her so much. Um, I, she's just so much fun. I love her personality. I when I got to the end, I like didn't want to let her go. You know, as a character, I was like, I, so yeah, as well. I really like her. Yeah, I, I really hope you find. I mean, now you know she's bridal girl, and I don't want to give away any endings, but there's there's things. You know, she can. Well, you could, <laughs> if, I, if I want to, you know, or if it comes to that, I, I left that open. Good. Because they, I mean, not only just Kim, but all of her friends, yes. her boy who may or might not be her husband. I don't want to give it away either, yeah. but I love him. So I, I always make sure that there's something left in case I want to keep going. Yeah. For this, for Bridal Girl, we open it up with Kimmy and Nick. 
and you know we get to know them and just in case you know I love the fact that it's it's standalone I mean you don't have to have read all the others but you know you introduce them and, and they're getting ready for their wedding they're talking about preparing for their wedding and <laughs> I love at the end because I always love the last line of the first chapter it's always my favorite line like and and yours was great <laughs> because they're talking about the wedding and then you said we'll get their sweets one thing at a time and it's like it kind of takes you right into the book and and the one thing at a time <laughs> so, when you read it again oh, when I went back at, yeah. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> right it's like you know and I never I didn't have a big wedding I don't know about you but I didn't have that I'm I'm single. Um, I'm not married. I, I'd like to be married, but I don't think I'd want a big wedding anyway. But I think I wanted to write about one. I wanted Kim to have one because I think as a character she would want one. You know. Oh, um, absolutely. You know, not all of my characters I think would want big weddings, but I think that at least at the beginning that was her dream was to have a nice big wedding. I so. think you kind of lived it through her, right? Yeah. <laughs> all the yes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I would have wanted one. I think I don't know. I don't. I got married in Vegas, so that okay. was like that was an interesting. That was, it was the opposite of like this, but I kind of had fun with this. Like you know, I was like, hey, it would have been fun. I think that could have been a fun you know thing to do. Stressful, but fun. But she's she's funny through it, and she wrote you know because you have the novelista. I mean, she's written her book. She's written one book. She's writing another book. She's in the process of writing another book. And um, did you like writing that part of it, of her, like going through that process? Well, well, definitely. I mean, Kim, I think at the heart of it, the growth of Kim is that she starts up pretty unsure of herself. And she never really, in Blogger Girl, she didn't really like to step outside of her comfort zone. She was happy. She had her best friend. She had like a, a friend with benefits. You know, she went to work, she came home, she had Prosecco with her friends, and life was good because she was afraid of pushing herself in case she failed. She didn't really like that. So in each book, she pushes herself a little bit more with the help of Nicholas, who was a boyfriend, with the help of her friends and her frenemies. Everybody pushes her a little bit. And so between the book and the relationship, both things are the push and pull. Neither one is really going the way that she dreamed, and now she has to deal with whether she's going to keep going and work through the hard parts or whether she's just going to give up. So that's a lot of the journey is, is seeing, you know, are you strong enough? Do you want this badly enough that you're going to make it work? Or are you going to quit? You know, so, but I won't tell. I won't, I won't tell either. <laughs> but, you know, that's kind of the fun of it. I mean, it's such, you know, like it doesn't really matter how it ends because it's the journey of how to get there. You know, mm -hmm. and, and the fun part of getting, it's like, I, I love a book that it's like, even if I can predict or if I think, oh, well, it could go one or two ways, it's the journey. And like, I didn't want to know ahead of time. Like I wanted to read it and, and go through it with her and see what happens and how it all works out for her. And, you know, like I see this as like a TV show, like her character. I really do. I love that. <laughs> It doesn't need to be a movie. It could be like a, you know, a lifetime movie. I would take an after school special. Like I would just love it. Right. You know? Yeah. And especially cause I just got done reading Sally Field's book. So like my mind is so, cause she goes into the TV world and I'm like, you know what? Cause I'd read that. That was a book I'd read right before I reread this one. And I was like, you know what? This could be that. This could be like, Kimmy could be a character. I think she'd be lots of fun. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah. Okay. And you've written so many. It's like, what are you, are you like thinking that this might be the next one? Or are you writing something else right now? I'm in edits of another book. Um, and that's, that's a standalone. It might be the beginning of a new series. I don't know. I'm writing it as a standalone with the potential to be the kind of series where other people, not, not a consecutive series like Blogger Girl, right. but a series where, you know, one of the characters who's just, you know, a secondary character could be the star of the next book. But I'm not planning it that way. Um, but yeah, for now, I don't have a, another Blogger Girl, you know, yeah. on my mind. When, when does your next one come out? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. I, uh, that's all... There's a lot of factors that will go into that. Right now, I'm just focused on finishing it and polishing it and making it the best book it could be. Did you know, did you know that you wanted to write these kind of books? No. I mean, I was in my 30s before I realized that I wanted to be a writer. I'd always had a very vivid imagination. 
Um, and I'd always been a good technical writer, but it was just not something I ever thought about. In fact, my sister, I'm the youngest of three, and my sister's always babied me. My sister wrote, like, my graduation speech. She wrote a poem that actually got published when I was in sixth grade in one of these, like, academic books. And I didn't write it. My sister did. So it's kind of funny now, all these years later, that I'm the published author when my sister is the one who wrote me, you know, all these things for me. Um, it just hit me one day. I was walking to work and I was daydreaming about a, a boyfriend where it didn't work out. And I was thinking, you know, if it had gone differently, what could it, what would have happened? Mm -hmm. And then I, I actually stopped in the middle of the street and I'm like, what am I doing? If I'm going to daydream all of this, I might as well just put it in writing. And I did. And that's my first novel, Just Friends of Benefits. That's how it was born. On my way to work one morning, thinking about a, a guy that I had broken up with. And the story changed completely from that conversation in my head to what it ended up being, but that's that's where it was born. Well, I just love the fact that you take these characters and make them, like, we invest in them so much, you know? I mean, I, I found myself so invested in this book, and I was like, wow, she really got me invested, because these kind of books, you have to get into the character, and that's why I said I miss her, like, finishing it. It's like, no, I want to be with, like, I want to see what happens. I, I don't want I don't want it to end. And, and I think a lot of your fans feel that way. I think that's why you end up writing the series is because, because people are like, please, please tell us that, more. That's how it happened. Blogger Girl was a standalone. And then I wrote another book after that. And so many people were like, I want another Blogger Girl. I want another Blogger Girl. So I ended up writing Novelista Girl. And that was going to be it. And then actually when I got my publishing deal, they wanted to know what else I had. And I just said, oh, I'll write a third book in the Blogger Girl series. But I had given it no thought. And then I was, I was contracted and that's what it happened. But I was glad it worked out that way because I really do love these characters. And I like that for me, I know a lot of authors can write a book in like three, four months and they get them out and that's great. I can't do that, but I'm glad that I can't because I really, really enjoy living in my character's heads mm. and it makes me sad when I finish and I'm not ready to move on. So I get like at least, you know, close to a year in the time that it's between writing it and revising it myself, sending it to critique partners and then the editor at the publishing house. And I get to spend a lot of time with them. And I, and I like that. I, I absolutely can tell. I really can. When I'm reading this, I was like, this, this seems like you just have so much fun with her and and her perspective on life. <laughs> well, but by the third book, I knew these characters so well. You know, the first book, you know, you try, you figure them out, and sometimes they change from the beginning to the end. But once you've written, and I also wrote a prequel. I have a young adult novel that brings Kim and her best friend Bridget um, to high school. They're sophomores in, in high school. So I know how they acted as, at 15 years old. I know how they acted in their late 20s. Now she's 30. Um, I knew them so well that their mannerisms, the things that all of the characters would say and how they would say it came very naturally to me. And that did not happen in the first and second books. The third book, not the, writing the book wasn't easy for me because I, I've never been married and I had to do the whole wedding planning thing. Um, <laughs> but the characters themselves and, and the way they reacted to everything, that was probably the easiest book that I've ever written from that perspective. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, the research that goes into this, like, especially like for somebody like me too, like I've never planned a wedding, but there's a lot to do. There's a lot. Of followed me so many wedding dress places and event planners followed me on Twitter because I would tweet about, you know, the wedding, Kim's wedding. And I, or I would research something and suddenly when I'm online, I get all these advertisements for getting married and I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm like, this is just for my book. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. I never thought about that because it is, that's how the world is. You Google something and then all of a sudden your Twitter and Facebook are, it's all over the place, you know? That, for people who write suspense and thrillers, the things that they're researching, I mean, I, the FBI would come after them, I you know. know? How to kill, you know, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I'm lucky. At least it's just weddings and things like that. Yeah, and I'm but. sure you could ask people too, you know, on Twitter and they'd probably help you. They're like, no, yeah. no, this is how the thing goes. I, I spoke to an event planner for this. Um, a good friend of mine happens to be one. So I, there was a couple of things in my first draft that weren't realistic. Yeah. And we talked about it over dinner and, and I fixed it. So. Oh, well, 
Well, that's awesome. I am so happy we got to talk, Meredith, and I'm so happy that I found this book because it so was so, so much fun. Yeah, so, so much fun. And I'm going to give away this copy. I'm going to put my Instagram down there, and um, you can win this. And she has signed it, so it's a signed copy and a little bookmark, which I love the bookmark. And look, all our books are on the back, and... Thank you so much for giving me this book, and I know someone else is going to really enjoy reading this. So, oh. yeah, I will put all of Meredith's links underneath. Thank you so much, Meredith. It was very yeah. fun. Very, very fun, and I can't wait for your next one. And you can call me early. I'll read it early. Okay. I'll um, hold you to that. that. Uh, yes, definitely. Have a great night. Yeah, you too. Okay, bye-bye. Everyone, thank you for watching. Wasn't she so much fun? That's how fun this book is, okay? If you are tired of reading thrillers and you want a break for your brain and you want to be able to sleep at night, because sometimes I find if I'm reading a thriller, I stay awake at night, okay? <laughs> Until I can fall asleep. I have to, like, put the book down, read something fun, get my mind off of it. This is the book, and I'm going to be giving this away on Instagram, and my link will be listed below here and uh thank you guys thank you so much meredith if you enjoyed the interview please hit like